Nesty Petesho. Our Olympic silver medalist going up against Minavan Opaxa of Lao. Obviously, Nesty Petesho would be uh, the shorter fighter, pero hindi na yan bago for Nesty. She has known what it takes Round to overcome. One. A size disadvantage. As you start the action here in your 12th match for today. Oh, initially, big contact. But the referee saying that it was a little behind the head. Mula kay Nesty, still a good start. Kasi maganda agad yung kanyang connection. Might be one here for a bit of a low blow from Petesho. Pero mabigat agad-agad yung binibitawan. Itong si Nesty. Clean, clean, lead from Petesho leads to our first standing eight of the fight in the first minute. Another clean lead left. Yung Lau halos hindi makabato ng suntok dahil sa lakas ng mga pitapatama. Agad itong si Petesho. Ang linis na naman. Yung left hand pero nakakabato ng counter hook. Yung Lau. Bakamo, sabi ni Nesty, also connecting with one of her own. Another massive straight from Petesho. Look at walking away from it. And she might be going for the early kill. Another standing eight down for Nesty Petesho. A minute and a half into it, and it is wave off. Wow! What dominance for Nesty in this match against Mina Minavan Opaxa. She just needed 90 seconds. And now there is no question about the conditioning of Nesty Petesho. Agad-agad, nagpakawala ng mga malalakas na suntok. Of course, that primary weapon of the lead left hand connecting consecutively. Hooks also land bronze medals from the 32nd Southeast Asian Games. Of course, we are hopeful that our fighters will be able to upgrade those bronze Ladies medals. Ladies and to gentlemen, moving forward. the winner by RC Interact Kona from Philippines. An undeniable performance from Nesty Petesho showing great sportsmanship here against